So today I am dismantling my old rabbit hutch. I am going to try to salvage as much off of it as I possibly can because I'm going to be building a buck hutch. Yeah. Wish me luck. Look what I just found. Yeah, that is a, it's a big old wasp nest back there. <laughs> because it got a whole bunch of paint stuck to it. I don't know if it's sticking. I've never seen this before. I mean, I don't mind that my blade is steel, but it's very sticky now, so, huh, it's very weird. I have another blade, so I'm gonna go get that one and try that really quick. Hi, bug. And I did have two bucks living in it. We have nitro and thorn over here. They weren't getting enough shade, so the roof that I pulled off today is now their little temporary roof. This is a very humble looking temporary home for them. I, I know some people house their rabbits like this permanently. I don't love it. I think that it just looks sad. Finally cleared out the spot over there. The buck hutch will be sitting right there in the corner, right next to the main hutch. So my bucks will be housed there, and then this will be mostly for does. And then here are the rest of my cages that I pulled out of the hutch. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with a couple of these. The buck hutch, or mini hutch, whatever you wanna call it, um, holds four cages, so two of them plus those two will be in use. The other two, I might sell them or I might try to tear them down and save them for later. All right guys, so we have all of the pieces for the buck hutch ready to go. I think the only thing that we don't have is the, um, the roofing pieces. Totally forgot about those. So today is the day that we assemble the buck hutch. I'm hoping that I can get it all done today uh, it's a lot smaller than the big hutch, so I'm thinking since I have uh, most of the pieces that I already need, it should be easier to do this one. Hopefully. <laughs> really quick, I wanted to show you why I set these out the way that I do. Here's the back legs, here's the front legs. The front legs have the angles facing on this side, and the back legs have the angles facing on this side. And that is because I want to be able to lift them up and join them together like that if that makes any sense, so, um, yeah.
I've literally been working on this all day long. Look at that. It's like a little mini version of the big hutch. Hillstone mini hutch. AKA the buck hutch. The next thing I have to do is put the LEDs in. I have to put the plastic um, diagonal poop shoots trays. They're not really trays. I really don't know what to call them. Um, but those things, I have to put those in. And then I can put cages in. And then I will be pretty much done. I'll have to winterize it like I did this, but I probably won't get to that part today. But it's okay because um, where a couple of my bucks are right now, it's not winterized anyway. So they're not gonna, and it's only gonna be in like the 40s or 50s tonight. So not worrisome. So yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> you how I'm putting this plastic on this stuff right here um, so what I'm doing is I put these eyelets in um, I didn't get to show you this one on the big hutch because I I missed showing you a closer close-up version of this so these are eyelets just screwed those in a little bit more than halfway down the middle of this 2x4 and then I drill holes like I mark where the hole needs to be and then I drill holes in this plastic right here. And then I'm using zip ties to kind of string them along the eyelets. And right now they're really loose. I will tighten them as I go, but it makes it kind of act like kind of as a hinge. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you a closer up version of how this is done. I feel like this is a very simple way to do it. I tend to overcomplicate things, so this seems really simple to me. So yeah, I'm gonna continue doing the rest of it. And also this middle piece right here, I will actually have to cut out, um, not on this one, but on the middle one, I'll cut out a chunk of the plastic just so it can, uh, it can go under this. Cause that's the only bad thing is that that middle support there gets in the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up doing my plastic. <music> is finally done. I'm so excited about how it came out. It looks really, really good. You will have to excuse the sun that keeps coming out. I can't decide whether or not it's going behind a cloud or not. It is a little bit less than half the size of my main hutch and it currently holds four 30 by 30 cages. 
This setup would be perfect if you were just thinking about getting started into rabbits and you didn't want like a huge operation like my other hutch. My other hutch is pretty huge and if you don't know if you're going to want to make that much of a commitment, this size would be perfect for you. And it's very affordable to make this. So right now I have um, my old tractor supply cages in them. I'm not in love with those cages. I've explained why in my past videos. So eventually we'll be getting KW cages for the buck hutch as well, but um, for the sake of budget reasons, we're not going to be doing that this year. If you guys are wondering, the cages have about this much space in between them. Um, just so the bucks can't like get at each other. That's one of the problems that I had in my other hutch is that they were so cramped together that I couldn't put bucks next to each other unless I had either flashing in between the cages or hardware cloth. And now with this one, um, it's not nearly as cramped so we have room to put a little bit of a space in between the cages so the bucks don't have a chance to bite each other or fight through the wire. One of the things that I feel like I failed to mention in my big hutch video as well as this video is that the way that I have these cages um, in there is that they are just zip tied down um, onto the supports so that's how the cages are sitting in there they're just zip tied um, it just helps stabilize them so when the rabbits jump around the cages don't move at all and also if I have to get them out to clean them I can just clip the zip ties um, take them out really sanitize them down or torch them or whatever and then just zip tie them back on there zip ties are really cheap so um, I'm finding that they are one of the uh, most helpful things that you can possibly buy. Currently the bucks don't all have matching food and water dishes and I, I hate water bottles so I will be getting matching food dishes and water dishes for them because as you guys know I love everything color coded all the time. Just like the main hutch, we have the droppings fall straight down um, on the bottom row and then on the top row we have those slanted plastic um, roofing pieces and when they poop or pee it just drains out. Um, it does get stuck in there sometimes, I will be completely honest with you. Uh, I actually have a really funny and creative way of cleaning them out. It's like super easy to clean them out. You just have to scrape them really, but um, I will show you guys that in a future video. It's really easy. It's really not a big deal to me that the hay gets stuck under there. It's mostly the hay's fault. This structure would also make a really good um, quarantine structure if you guys are needing to have like a quarantine area for your rabbits. This is going to be a really good solution for that. So really it's a good option um, just for a smaller operation or quarantine area or a beginner hutch or you know whatever. For you guys I'm calling this the teal stone mini hutch. Here it is known as the buck hutch <laughs> because um, it's going to be holding mainly boys here, especially since the cages are smaller. Um, boys don't need nearly as much room as does. They're not raising litters, so um, I just found that it's a really good solution for housing boys. Look how cute you are, little baby. Oh, what do you think? So cute. The next video will be a show vlog and so if you are interested in going to a rabbit show but you're not exactly sure how to do that, um, I'm hoping that it will really help you out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! <laughs> Bye guys! <laughs> see you guys!